I am going to be messaging as many fitness influencers as I possibly can to see who responds and maybe we'll get a fucking clap in. So let's see, without further ado, I'm gonna fucking harass people. Let's do it. Oh shit! The only thing that I feel like is kind of a cheat code here is that like I do talk to already a couple of fitness influencers that are well known so like it's kind of tricky but like hey I mean maybe they just won't respond this time and it'll just be like vice versa so we'll fucking see no matter what I'm gonna just like ask for a collab and fucking try to make things happen okay I've never talked to David Lay let me actually see if I've actually messaged him before holy shit look at how many mentions I mentioned this guy I think back then because of the fact that I used to do like natty or nots and shit I think I did a natty or not in him so I kept tagging him I'm seeing if this motherfucker would have seen it. Yo, David, can you help me get laid? Question mark. I, I think we got it locked in there. Let's do Lex Little. Um, yo, Lex, is it little? Question mark. Nah, that sounds gay. Yo, Lex, is it little? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see who else. This is actually kind of fun. Holy fuck. I should have done this a long time ago. Bradley Martin. Yo, Brad. Alright, he is opening a new gym membership in Zoo Culture. He has a new one that's apparently better. I don't know. I've never seen it. So I'll be like, yo, Bradley, you gotta put me on that free zoo membership. Yo, Bradley, you gotta put me on that free zoo membership. <laughs> He's gonna be like, go fuck yourself. You can respond to that shit. Who else? Jill Shulk. He's very famous on TikTok. He actually follows me on TikTok. W mans. W -man. He doesn't follow me on Instagram though. What the fuck? I'm gonna congratulate him actually because he actually just hit, if we go and look here, he actually just hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Congratulations, bro. You got the YouTube plaque? Good shit, bro. I'll get there pretty soon. Don't worry. Yo, Shulk, congratulations on the 100k 100k subscriber mark subscriber mark angelina maldonado some shit like that i don't know this girl is a fitness influencer and she goes to zoo culture she is a raw gear athlete so she's very well known with bradley martin and shit so she's one of the girls at zoo and she is bad as fuck honestly this girl is my crush this this is the hottest girl that you can ever show me and the history of this planet all right there's no girl top in this I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest with you where did you get that oh, i tried to hit her with a pickup line nah she didn't respond i'm gonna text her again all right yo oh my god this is gonna be embarrassing though because imagine she ends up reading it in the future if we ever like meet in person she's gonna like go back and be like oh what's your instagram and, like we'll follow each other and then she's gonna see it, and then she's gonna be like what the fuck like did you really text me that you know and I'm gonna have to say like it was for a video so i definitely can't cut this out so i have to make this explanation in case she ever sees you know Oh my god, no, not yo, that sounds so stupid. Oh, fuck, come on, good game, man. Build game, build game, Kevin. I know you have no riz, but come on. Um, I love you. Anyways, Chris Bumstead. Let's do Chris Bumstead right now. I'm bigger than you. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna say that. That's kind of funny. I'm bigger than you. Greg Doucet, IFBB Pro. Let's see. I actually had a long fucking conversation with this guy before. So, chances are... He might respond. Let's see. Is it safe to go? <laughs> all these things are going to be sexual. I'm going to be honest. All these comments, like, I'm a sexual motherfucker, as you can see. I say some fucked up shit, you know? So, you Greg, is it safe to go harder than last time with my girl? Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, is he going to respond? Yo, Greg, is it safe to go harder than last time with my girl? Yo, if he responds, he's a legend. I feel like he's going to say some shit like, of course, just don't go too hard and, you know, make her fucking die or some shit. And so, Kevin Diaz from Crew Aesthetics has made it his final con quest to dm dozens upon dozens of fitness influencers men and women to see who will respond and who won't respond and so he goes throughout all day texting while he's taking a shit while he's laying in bed while he's doing absolutely nothing he's texting 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 hoping that he gets a response sorry if i have a list but i'm wearing a retainer right now so i kind of sound like a <sighs> so it is the very next day 24 hours later and i'm not gonna lie like like, there is a fuck ton of people who responded and actually there's also new people that responded to me that have never responded to me prior just want to make a disclaimer that 99.9% .9 of the responses are positive but there was one comment in particular that I'm going to respond to within this time period of this video that was negative and this influencer is an asshole all right and I'm just gonna say that straight up 
I'm calling him out because th this is petty as fuck what he did. So if you really want to know what the fuck happened, just stay tuned until the end. This video is not long. I'm going to start with Anthony Montello. So I asked him, basically, I just opened up. I just asked him if everything's okay because he hasn't really been very active on social media lately because, I mean, the guy is a social media personality and he's not on social media. What the fuck is going on? So I asked him if everything is okay and Anthony responded back saying, yeah, everything's fine. I'm not a social media savvy, savvy person and need a videographer to help me. I have one who will be working with me in a week and a half so that'll help me a ton yeah so i just responded back i just said shit man well glad everything is okay keep those videos coming okay so that's it all right for that will tenny sin okay so will i responded it's basically saying that i love his content that he's been doing lately he's been working extra hard in my opinion like i feel like he's been putting a little bit more effort in and the quality is just top fucking notch so he actually liked my comment and said appreciate that bro so i'm gonna heart it back uh let's do grant uh, I just asked him if he uses the same editing software program as me and he said no uh, I can't say I have brother so it's all right, I'm gonna like that comment. I wanna open up Max Taylor's because I actually texted him and I asked him if he was down to collab, if he's ever coming down. He said, I wanna, don't know when though, maybe summertime. All right, so I responded basically just asking for a little collab here because I asked him if he's ever planning on coming to Miami anytime soon. So then I said, yeah, well, bro, I'd love to feature you in a video. And you know, if you do come here, like look, summertime over here in Miami is crazy as fuck. So <laughs> I'm not wrong, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so let's see, Joe Frazier, uh, I texted him and I said, your videos are top notch bro keep that shit up because they're fucking top quality i love it his editing is to the t he said thanks bro i'm gonna hurt that comment nothing you know too crazy nothing you need to go out of the ordinary here let's do andrew jack this one was funny as fuck i said andrew you gotta be the biggest dude i've ever fucking seen holy shit <laughs> he's, he's just fucking like the comment and then put like sweating emojis and then like laughing emojis dude he's fucking jack dude this guy's huge as fuck dude isaiah miranda i just said tiktok content is top tier bro keep it up i'm gonna you know like that comment good shit i responded to this guy saying your arm genetics are insane he said thank you bro i'm gonna hurt that comment dude this guy's arm are insane look at the definition the detail Zach Perna I say hey how long have you been doing YouTube for interesting question because I've been doing YouTube now for me personally like three years so like this guy I want to know you know and he said eight plus years holy shit you got me beat by five years just a little funny comment there and I'm a hard to eight years all right you know what let me open up Greg these sets because I this motherfucker is hilarious with consent yes <laughs> <laughs> He's, of course, Greg. Of course, we can send. And I said, all right, good to know. I'm going to also eat anabolic French toast to maintain protein synthesis while I'm in action. Yo, dude, this is fucking hilarious, bro. Okay, Dylan McKenna. Let's do Dylan McKenna now. Uh, I basically said, hey, Dylan, how's everything? I've texted him before. And he also said, he responded. He said, good, my man. What's up? Nothing much. Just checking up on the OG fitness YouTuber. <laughs> it's all about being nice, guys. Let's do Marco uh, Spangier, some shit like that. Marco. So Marco said, Said, what's up broski because i said hey marco what's good g and i'm gonna just say nothing much just want to say you've been killing the game g all right let's do noel leva so i actually texted her back in 2021 of january so actually literally like a fucking year ago and it, no two years ago two years ago holy shit i texted her two years ago before she became famous quote unquote and i said does she respond with emojis like this right how's everything noel that's a friendly comment i was gonna say some fucking stupid weird shit like how's the only fans doing are you doing good on there but like this <laughs> that's just weird as fuck you know okay let's do this guy let's do that t spall guy uh, i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right but the guy who pretends to struggle doing weights and shit that's not actually heavy but he's like mm. And pretend he's nutting and shit i responded and i said were those sets actually like hard and he said yeah i'm just gonna hard the comment i was like <laughs> whatever kenny keo i responded or i texted him in other words i said how's everything kenny and then he said busy bro lol i'm gonna say better busy than bro bro good model right there i, I just made it up on off the spot i responded to weston i said hey weston what's good bro he's like hey man what's up you were looking fucking jacked bro keep it up <laughs> that's just such a random comment all right let's do johnny shreve now i actually texted johnny and i said hey johnny how's everything because the last time i texted him like he was you know doing good and shit but like ever since like he fucking he blew up on youtube he's about to hit half a million subscribers i think the last time i texted him he had like 100k so he's fucking you know he's killing the game i said hey johnny how's everything i see you have been blowing up on the youtube lately he's like what's good fam yeah things are picking up fire emoji keep it up dude don't let the rhythm stop okay james english said doing okay bro how about you doing good bro surprise you actually responded all right and now last but not least uh mark plummer 
Oh, Mark, Marky Mark, you uh, really have to be a dickhead on the video that I'm actually filming. So you're featured in this video, coincidentally. I actually said to uh, Mark Plummer, cause his last name is Plummer, right? So I think, what is the irony into saying like, were you a plumber before? Just some fucking stupid, funny ass little joke. And obviously I know Plummer is spelled P-L-U-M-B-E-R, but since his last name is P-L-U-M-M-E-R, I thought just like rephrasing by saying his last name and then referring that to being a plumber, like, you know, an actual plumber for toilets and shit. I thought that would have been funny. So I said, were you a plumber before? Just randomly saying that shit because I thought that was funny as fuck. And this dude had the audacity to respond like a minute later, a minute later. Look at the timestamp. 12.27 p.m., 12.28 p.m. Dude had the audacity to disrespect me and say, you have got to be the stupidest kid I've ever met for real. Mark. I'm sorry, but like, I don't know, bro. If you want to treat your fans like shit, you know, go ahead, insult them, disrespect them. That's your life. That's your platform. You do you. I'm not a fan personally. I used to watch your content, but I haven't watched in like a year, you know, and I mean, honestly, that probably explains why your YouTube channel has been stagnant for the last year and a half or so, but we don't got to talk about that. That's besides the point. Well, shit. Don't do steroids, kids. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, especially liking, guys. Keep the engagement up, guys. Let's fucking do this shit. Started from the bottom, now we're here. All right, so let's, let's do this shit, okay? I'm gonna go. It's your boy Kevin Diaz from Crew Aesthetics. And don't be like Mark Plummer. <laughs> All right, let me stop, let me stop. I'm fucking with you. All right, guys. Adios. Peace.